What up everyone, Matt Barnes here, and I'm excited to announce the All The Smoke first giveaway partnership with Kix Crew. For those who don't know, Kix Crew is a global sneaker marketplace that only works with verified retailers and brands directly. Kix Crew is also an exclusive platform launch in Austin Reeves' first signature shoe, the Rigor AR1 Showtime. And I'm not gonna lie to you, man, they did their thing with this shoe. I'm looking forward to trying this thing out. The shoe is inspired by the legendary Showtime Lakers, so you know it's dope. Shout out to Austin Reeves and the Rigorer team. We have five pairs to give away to the All The Smoke community. To enter, all you have to do is sign up using the link below in the description box. Good luck. September is here, that means football is back. Our partners at DraftKings Sportsbook have a can't miss offer for the kickoff of the 2024 season. New customers, let me put you on some game. Download the DraftKings app now, use the promo code SMOKE, and place a $5 bet. You'll get $200 in bonus bets instantly. You heard me right. Throw down $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. With your $200 in bonus bets, you can win even more. Try out our same game parlays. You can also place individual bets on games, whether it's the money line, spread, total passing yards, total rushing yards, Point total, the options are almost endless. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use the code SMOKE, bet just $5 on any wager, and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code SMOKE, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Welcome back, All The Smoke, coming to you from the XS Nightclub here at the beautiful Wynn Hotel. Round two of interviews. And Jack, if two people in the league embody All The Smoke, it's probably these two. Yeah, and I, I will also throw in the word trill. See, I'm from Port Arthur, Texas, where I do re the original trill, and I don't use that word trill and give it to many people. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they Philadelphia. They from Philadelphia. Man, welcome to the show, the Morris Twins. Appreciate y'all, fellas. Hey, man. Thank you. Bros. Y'all fresh off the plane. We appreciate you. I talked to him like two hours ago. He was just landing, and they decided to come through and bless us. Long overdue. Uh, absolutely. Yes, sir. With their presence. What are you guys up to these days? What's going on? Having kids, man. Kids. Sure. Yeah. I got three boys, and he's about to have another boy. I'm about to have another boy in August. So Building you got, family. You have, you have two boys. Be two boys, one girl. All three boys. boys. In the, oh, okay, you can do it there. Three, girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so who's all this? Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Okay, I got twins. They're six men. You guys are identical, obviously. Nah, we fraternal. Oh, is it fraternal? Yeah, yeah. How? How y'all look like that? If y'all fraternal. Hey. Just it is what it yeah, is. Yeah, you know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's what the doctor said. Yeah, so you guys said, uh, yeah. invested in a brand called Legends. Shout out Legends, shout, shout out my out guy Legends. Scott. They put all this together. Yes, sir. Um, shout out Scott. What made you invest in that? Obviously, as athletes, I know you guys are actively investing, but what made Legends uh, stand out to you guys? Uh, honestly, you know, we was in a bubble. And uh, I, think, I think Legends did a collab with the MBPA during that time. That was when we were doing all the social justice stuff mm -hmm. in there. And they came out with these hoodies, and, and actually, bro had it on. I was mm -hmm. like, damn, that's a nice-ass hoodie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, People don't really wear sports stuff like just around, just right. chilling in it. So uh, when I got back to LA after the bubble, um, actually one of Kawhi's, Kawhi Leonard guys was talking about legends and he was, I don't know if I should say this, but shit, he was talking about doing a collab with him. This was when he, before he got to New Balance. Mm -hmm. And his, his dude was telling me about him and uh, shit, man, I started doing my research. Just ended up reaching out to Scott myself, just talking, busting it up, you know, it was just, it just, it just, it just, it just matched. It so, worked. You know what I'm saying? And we were just on some shit. Like, hey man, I know, you know other, other like companies. You, you get a little endorsement. He was like, we really don't want to do that. You know what I mean, if you really want to take a look at it, and uh, be an investor, you know, just dig deep a little bit. And I told bro about it, and brought some people on and shit. It's been it matched, rolling ever you since. Know what I'm Hell yeah. You guys are entering your 13th year. Uh, vets that don't really come along too often. This league is so young now to see real vets. Uh, it's refreshing. Um, what do you think of the, the, the state of the league right now? You guys kind of got a taste of the era we were in. Obviously, the era has transitioned um, to more of a scoring, less physicality, 
uh, but still fun game. But what do you think about how you started and where the NBA has kind of transitioned into? Um, I think uh, it's, in a good, it's in a good hands, man. These young players coming up there, real talented. I think, um, you know, once Brian and all those guys retire, I think, you know, the Zions and John Morant. So I think those guys will, you know, take over. But I don't like is is the vet thing. Like, as we get older, it's not like when y'all was in the league. You remember how y'all basically call it quits when y'all wanted to call it quits. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, they pushing the vets yeah. out, bringing the more younger guys, and I don't think that's helping the league. Mm -mm. I think that's hurting the league because you need the guys, you need the older guys to show them the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the only part I don't like. But other than that, it's in a great state. Yeah, yeah, as far as talent. Yeah, and that money. Shit. Talent and money. Money ain't going nowhere. It's that money is sick, nothing. ain't it? Oh, yeah, my it's God. crazy. That money is sick. Unbelievable. That, that shit started on our, on, when we, on our way out, though. Mm -hmm. When they start pushing AI out, they start pushing me out, they start pushing all the guys like us out around that time. And that's mm -hmm. when that bullshit started. Mm -hmm. They don't understand <laughs> the qualities. That shit is crazy, man. You gotta understand, too, nowadays the GMs and the, the they, they're younger. They're not the older like they used to be mm -hmm. when the young guys was in the league. Mm -hmm. So they're looking at younger guys. They yeah. don't understand the qualities of having bets in the locker yeah. room. You get on these one or two teams, though. They understand it, yeah. you just gotta stick with that. But that's right. normally guys that play to understand the importance if yeah. they're in those positions, but guys that are number crunchers or, or analytics guys, analytics, yeah. they don't get it. That's the game. In your guys' opinion, who do you guys feel are maybe the top two players in the league right now? It goes back and forth, but who do you guys feel like the top two players in the league are right now? Shit, sure, I'm gonna say, uh, I gotta say Tatum. And uh, to me, I, I like Embiid, man. Tatum and Embiid? Yeah, I like Embiid. Who you got, Key? Um, I'm more so Kyrie mm. and KD. Kyrie. I mean, Kyrie is obviously the most skilled player by yeah. far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then just, you know, KD's ultimate offense. So mm -hmm. I'm going with the offensive guys. Thoughts <laughs> on the, when we came in the league, there was a handful probably, uh, but there's really been a, a, a international European kind of takeover of the league. You look at Jokic, Giannis, Luka, uh, Embiid, guys, international players that have won MVPs the last handful of years as American players that compete and, and grew up loving this game. Thoughts on kind of just the way the international players are running the NBA right now to keep it real? Shit, they really is, man. I mean, I think... Uh, as much as we hate to say it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going to say they're still in our blueprint. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean... You know, they, they become a professionals at a younger age, yep. and that's starting to really, like, grow on the game. And I think that's what we have to do here. I mean, you got the, what's that, the league that the Twins came from, the uh, OTE. OTE league. Yeah, I think we time. need more leagues like yeah. that because mm -hmm. that's the way now. Like, yeah. professional younger age, they've been playing with grown men since 13. Yeah. These mm -hmm. the top players in Euro, so they yeah. already coming in with an edge. Yeah. And then their game is different from ours, too. They play positionless over there. So now yeah. we've transitioned into positionless. We used to be one through three, Big, four, five. Right. They've learned no matter yeah. your yeah. size, you got to yeah. handle and shoot from the jump. Yeah. And I think we're behind the eight ball. Yeah, we're behind the eight ball in that, but we'll catch up. Yep. You know, you know how it always go. September is here. That means football is back. Our partners at DraftKings Sportsbook have a can't-miss offer for the kickoff of the 2024 season. New customers, let me put you on some game. Download the DraftKings app now, use the promo code SMOKE, and place a $5 bet. You'll get $200 in bonus bets instantly. You heard me right. Throw down $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. With your $200 in bonus bets, you can win even more. Try out our same game parlays. You can also place individual bets on games, whether it's the money line, spread, total passing yards, total rushing yards, Point total, the options are almost endless. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use the code SMOKE. Bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code SMOKE, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. For those who don't know, April is Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. But it doesn't have to stop Manscaped from spreading awareness for testicular cancer all year long. With help from the Testicular Cancer Society, Manscaped is bringing back their special edition TCS Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. This will be the last launch of the collectible, so make sure you pick up yours before they're gone. Use code SMOKE and get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Join the movement of 9 million other men that trust Manscaped. Did you know one man every hour is diagnosed with testicular cancer? To help remind men to check themselves for testicular cancer, for a limited time, you can get their new special edition purple TCS Lawnmower Trimmer 4.0 electric 
waterproof trimmer. The special edition trimmer is a collectible item. There's only 15,000 units in existence. I got myself one. So make sure you get out today while the supplies last. Once they're gone, they're gone. With the launch of their special edition lawnmower 4.0 purple trimmer, Manscaped will be donating 25,000 to their longtime partner, the Testicular Cancer Society, to help those impacted by testicular cancer. Join the Manscaped movement and start taking care of your balls today. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code SMOKE at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with code SMOKE at manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. Let's go back to y'all upbringing. Paint the picture of y'all upbringing in uh, Philly. What side of Philly y'all from? North. North. Yeah, hey, 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 one second. We appreciate what you do for the city too, man. Man, that's Being my second home. Hell yeah, man. I've been seeing it all the time, man. Bro, we really us and Gilly that. from the same hood. We from the same oh, Okay, the same yeah. I area. took my Shahada in Philly, man. I got, yeah, I got a lot of that. love yeah. in Philly, man. You so took it in Germantown? Where you was at? Yeah, I was in Germantown. Yeah, I was up yeah. north with, uh, with Chris and Eve and them. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 Where's, uh, shout out yeah, Tom Trump, too. Where's uh, Flip Murray from? He from uptown. uptown. Yeah, is he? No. Flip yeah, Murray was so bad. Shout out Flip Murray. He, he was, was so nice. cold. Yeah, he was oh. He's still balling on leagues out yeah, there. He was so All great. Cold. Flip, yeah. Flip cold. was cold, cold bro. Wasn't he? Yeah, Flip was a yeah. killer. Mm. But uh, yeah, we we from North Philly. We from okay. right there in North Philly. Yeah, Max's, the, right there. We yeah. grew up across the street from Max's. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Cab Hart right, grew up right around the corner from us. We all okay. in the same neighborhood. Yeah, same yeah. area. Yeah, right down that, that lane of uh, Erie Avenue, Huntington Park. Erie Ave. Yeah. Yeah, you are right. Hey, I heard you saying that the other day. I was rolling. I ain't gonna lie. I was rolling. But uh, coming up in Philly, uh, football, baseball, basketball, who was the best at both? And, and what was your guys' favorite sport coming up? Football. Yeah, we football was? Football. What position did you guys play? Quarterback and receiver. Oh, that's, that's the easy yeah, combination. Yeah. Yeah. It was cool, man. We got, the, we got the high school, and it was cool, but then we played outside one time. That was the end of it. That was the end. What we happened? played outside when it was cold. Like during the summertime, you play little league. You know what I'm saying? Once you go to high school, you get into the, the winter time. Yeah. You know what I'm season. saying? And you really playing, playing uh -huh. that shit. Man, we was out there. I'm like, man, this shit ain't for us. <laughs> <laughs> Too cold. Switch it up. Yeah, Too man. Cold, let's just see really? if we could play. But mind you, we haven't even played basketball, so we really didn't start until like our ninth grade, tenth grade year. But oh, that's like, when you guys picked up basketball. Yeah. Really? Up Actually, hooping, yeah. So football was your first love. Yeah, we played all the way up until, until that time. So about Started at seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we played till ninth grade year. That's why I think like it translated well because we was already physical. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So we went into the game like we really started. Football, football players playing basketball. Mm -hmm. That was the same way. Football Tall was first for me. Yep. Mm -hmm. so, the, so the rumor is Keith better at math. Mark, Marcus, you met better at uh, read, better reader. Did y'all used to switch classes? Shit, yeah, that was 20 years ago, yeah, mm -hmm. hell yeah. Y'all used to switch classes on boys? Yeah, High school, we, we took all the to. same classes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just something to do. That shit was just something to do, man. We had to, like... See if y'all get away with it? Yeah, man, we got away with all that shit. That was, <laughs> that, yeah, that was... That was, uh, that was minor, but like you that said... Was that was easy so work? Long, yeah, that was so long ago. What's man. the wildest, if you could say, the wildest switch off y'all pulled? <laughs> Whether it be in the classroom, in sports, Damn. in life... It's Anywhere gotta else? Be, it's got to be in light, but it ain't appropriate for the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> I was going oh, they like did that. say we switched teams. Like, Y'all switched from, switch teams uh, before? NBA yeah. team. They said we switched NBA teams like like five years ago. That would have been like, crazy. Yeah, that's uh, what they said in the playoffs. Yeah, that shit ain't that's true. That's funny. Yeah, they put a whole story be, out. That like shit that. ain't true. Uh, that <laughs> shit ain't true. Being in Philly growing up, did uh, y'all have any influence from AI? I'm pretty sure. Oh, man. All of it. Yeah. That's the only person we watched. We used to go down there on Fridays and just... <laughs> Watch the whole Entourage show. We used to like really be running. Oh, Entourage show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said it Fridays? And Fridays. That was a spot. The motherfucker yeah, ran that yeah, shit. Yeah, man. Everybody Bubba, knew. Bubba Chuck, yeah, yeah, for sure. Man, that's all we did. That's, that's Philly. That was, that was the reason why we were six of fans, the reason why we even picked up basketballs. That's mm -hmm. dope. You know what I'm saying? Chuck. So, yeah, that's crazy. You already know. Every kid in Philly. How did um, yeah. Kansas become y'all choice for school? We um, originally we was committed to Memphis. Throughout the whole year, this when John Calipari was there. Mm -hmm. um, he was the hottest coach in college basketball. Uh, Kentucky had just opened up, so we knew he was gonna get the he was gonna get the gig there. Our, our high school coach at the time was doing all the research for us. knew he was gonna get the gig, and then uh, yeah, we opened our recruitment back up. Kept Kansas and Memphis. They played in the national championship against each other. We had Grandma's house watching the game only between me and him because I wanted to go to Memphis bad. Like I was. Oh, John Calipari, uh, Derek Kellogg was the was the assistant coach at the time. So you know, I was it was more so me. 
Uh, yeah, and I wanted to go to Kansas. He wanted to go to Kansas. Mm -hmm. Locked in at Grandma Cribs. Basically, you know, whoever won the national championship game, that's in school. So that's how y'all decided. Whatever so team decided. won. Whatever team won, yeah. And Kansas beat them. Was, 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 um, Boy, yeah, was, was that uh, Chris Douglas Robinson and, and D. Rose on that D. Rose team? Rose and Rio, Rio, Rio beating it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was some, it was a crazy. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Like, it could have went a different direction. We would have. Go ahead and fill your boy up. Yeah. We really would have went So they would have went. Yeah, so we y'all really so y'all said before the game or during the game? We shook on it. Yeah, we shook on it. Like, whoever won the national championship, that's the national championship game. That's we're going to. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy as fuck. Like, that's dope. Really happy. Not only me and him know we on, we only two talking. No one else about knew. It. Yeah, because yeah. I was I was locked in on Memphis. Yeah, like, that was that was that was my school. Yeah. Uh huh. I was going. We was going to go there. That was okay. That was the one. Yeah. Jack, speaking to the mic. What did you just pour in our cup right there, Jack? What's that? <clears throat> one more time, B. Give me the correct pronunciation. <laughs> An Anilos. What does that mean? It means rings in Spanish. Okay. This is our mezcal. Mixed yeah. with watermelon. Let's go ahead and take a sip. Infused. Infused. Don't Infused. take a sip. It's going to be everywhere. It's going to fix everybody's business. Yeah, we have something. Like Baron would say, here, try some. Cheers. Yeah, this shit nice, my God. Cheers, fellas. Thanks for having us, bro. Yeah. Oh, geez. Bro, bro. Cheers. Yeah, I already know. Yes, sir. Yeah, this shit nice. Who would have thought? <laughs> Tell you all. Hey, B, you and Matt gonna have people thinking I'm smart for real in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so was there ever thoughts you knew for sure college you were gonna go together and yeah. then the next stop, you never, you never knew what was gonna happen? And I'll be honest, bro, like we never really talked about the NBA. Mm -hmm. Like growing up, we never was on some, like we gonna make it to the NBA. It was more so like going to college that first. Was the goal, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, that was that amazing shit. The like, even nobody went to college Just in the family, out. you know yeah, what I'm saying? That was so, amazing. Like, even, like, having the opportunity to go to college was, like, it was eye-opening, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then, like, it was such a culture shock because we went from North Philly to Kansas, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it was, day. like, man, bro, like, we struggled, like, like a lot the first year. Mm -hmm. We really struggled in school. And, like, we had Danny Manning. He was over there, and he was, like, a mentor of us. And he just, he kept us on the straight path. And, like, he really, like, turned our games on, like, turned our work ethic up. Yeah. And, like, we started to, like, see the growth. Like, one summer we was in school. And went back home and was like grown ass men. You know what I'm saying? So like everybody was like, like it was a big change. Right. And that's when like the light kind of came on. Like, hey, we got a real got opportunity, a like, you yeah. know, to make the league and shit. Mm -hmm. After that, we just we was pushing each other. That's me? dope. How many how many uh y'all tattoos y'all got that's the same? Shit, a lot. Right. Whole arm, right? We got fifty, we got fifty, I would say, yeah. Uh, so y'all whole right arm is the 35. same, right? Yeah, probably like 35 of them the same. And it's in the same yeah. spots too, right? Yeah, same yeah, spots. That's yeah. dope. That's yeah, dope. We that shit that's early. dope. Yeah, we started early. Yeah, that's dope. you know what I'm saying? That's dope. Favorite battles in college? You played in Big 12, Blake Griffin, Chris Middleton. What's that like? Oh, yeah. We was, we was fucking Chris Middleton up in college. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we didn't get to play against Blake, but we was fucking Chris Middleton up. <laughs> yeah. There yeah. wasn't no but our, our biggest battles was our teammates. Like, yeah, we yeah. had. Gang of guys. Who was like, on your guys' team that year that went to the league? We had uh, Thomas Robinson. We had Jeff with you. We went. Shout out uh, uh, T. Robs in the house, ain't he? We had, uh, yeah. but we yeah, had guys that didn't even like go to the league. Them niggas was nasty. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. We had Mario Little. He was could have left from JUCO and went to the league. You know what I'm saying? But it became like uh, we became a brotherhood. But shit, we used to battle. We used to mm -hmm. get it in. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Dope. Damn near everybody went to the league off our squad. Yeah. Damn mm -hmm. near played. Some like, type of like, Xavier, like, Henry, over, overseas. Cole Alridge, Sharon mm -hmm. Collins, Tasha Taylor. Oh, Sharon was on your team? Sharon, Sharon yeah. Was we had uh, Josh Selby. Yeah. We had a bunch of yeah, guys. Yeah, some hoopers. I remember Xavier Henry, he was on our team. That's yeah. when he was a uh, top five pick that day. Yeah, Josh Selby too. Dang. We had Selby too. Yeah, be more, yeah, he was cold. Was Bill Self hard on y'all? Yeah. They both said, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> hey, man, I, I, like, <laughs> it, it was crazy, man, but he, he really, like, we he worked us so hard that when we got to the league, this shit was just easy. Cake you know what I'm saying, man. We was we look at the, we look at him wrong way. We was running, mm -hmm. and then everything was together. So if it's me, I'm running for him. You know what I'm saying? If it's him, yeah. we both running. So it's not one of us came in on college. I was lazy as shit. He would literally do lazy, everything. Like, everything was together. It didn't matter which one of like we both was getting in trouble. So was he just an asshole, or was he pushing you because he saw something, shit. or a little I, bit of both? It wasn't just us, shit. So <laughs> I call it. It was both ways. Like, we mm. was just the ones that, you know, one of the ones I that I think because we was twins, so, like, it was just easy to pick on it. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Two of y'all. Like, if one is two people that, you know what I mean? Normally, you're on one, and if it's both of them <laughs> doing it, you're like, man, fuck it. I don't even, you know what I mean? 
If he ain't did it, you did it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mark yeah. is looking at me wrong. Marquis run. Mm. All right, this shit, like, this shit was crazy. <laughs> At the end, it worked. It worked out real good for us because, like, we became men. He like taught, like, we didn't have fathers, so he kind of became like a father figure in mm -hmm. such. But it was really like just strenuous work, you know. Mm. what I'm saying? Mm. 2011. What's the pre-draft process like? How many teams you guys work out for? Did you guys work? Did you guys work out together at every stop? No, two teams. It's actually, the teams we got drafted to. Those are our only two workouts together. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. yeah. so what were two, what were those teams? Houston and Phoenix. Yeah. Okay. And the part about that was that that dog wasn't even he wasn't even gonna come out of school. Yeah, I was. And like, so you were gonna stay? Yeah, he well he wasn't gonna stay, but he wasn't on any like projection of like being drafted. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, damn. And he was like, bro, if you leave, I'm leaving. And that's just what it's gonna be. Like, I, if I can get to the combine, we can make something work. End up, I'm the lottery pick the whole time. We end up going to the combine, and he go before me. Shit was crazy. I'm like, it, it was just like it was made up because we sat at the same table, one pick, right one behind pick each other. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it was just. It, so you guys were like 13, 14. 13, 14. That's hard. Yeah. We just saw the, Thompson, hard, the Thompson dog, twins man. went four and five, right? Yeah, we just saw them yeah, twins. Yeah, yeah. That kind of shit made me excited though, bro, because I've been fucking with y'all for a long time, obviously, because yeah. I have twins, and you guys got a chance to meet them. But it's just like to see your dreams kind of yeah. materialize and and and. It, it's really a, a, a your, your, your twins gonna make because they way more burnout right. at, at, at their age than y'all were. Right. Trust me, bro. Them two, they grown already. Right. Too grown. Right. Yeah. All, they, all they gotta do is stay the course. They gonna right. make. Right. Yeah, they locked they in. Be right. Right. Kids nowadays Almost. different though. Yeah, it's they different. Offer so much more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like they, it can it can go fast. Well, yeah. I feel like now, I mean. You guys probably nice. caught a little bit of old, but like when we grew up, we was outside. Like we didn't mm -hmm. work out, we didn't train, mm -hmm. we was doing outside, shit we probably real. shouldn't have been doing. Yeah, you know, now kids have trainers and I feel like the skill level now is super high, but I feel like a lot of people lack the IQ because they don't really yeah, play. Yeah. They hoop, right. they do the, all the one-on-one -on -one oh, shit yeah. and all this shit is immaculate. Yeah. But just how do you play off the ball? How do you set screens? How do you roll? How do you mm -hmm. pop? How do you cut from the weak side? I feel like everything a lot of the younger highlight. players miss everything that. Everything is a highlight, yeah. everything. You can't teach the basics of the game no. anymore. Everything got to be a highlight. And even if you lose 30 minutes later, you'll see a kid on your team post a highlight where uh, like, nigga, yeah, we just lost. lost. Huh? Like, what, <laughs> 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 we literally like, just lost and crazy. you got a whole mixtape on no, Instagram yeah. right now. <laughs> like, what I'm the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so you guys get a chance to play together in Phoenix, yeah. right? What was that experience like? It was up, I tell you that. That was the was best dope, That was man. the best shit ever. Was man. it one season or two seasons? Two seasons. Two, two and a half. Two and a half? It was just two, two and, and a half. two and a half or one and a half. It was two and a half because we came a half and then we played two more after that. Yeah. Well, what was that experience? I mean, that's got to be insane. Y'all share that. Y'all get a crib mm -hmm. together and everything. Oh yeah. Right yeah. back in, huh? All right back Crazy. in. Crazy. We was, we was renting Kurt Warner crib. Kurt Warner's place? Yeah. Out there, out in Arizona, yeah. yeah. Shit was cold, man. The whole we was family under one like room. 20, oh, man. I know we that was like hard, bro. 23. Man, eight rooms, man. We, man, eight homies. You know how Y'all was living it up. That was it. And that's Every two night. income. Because normally one person got to float the income, got to float the yeah, bill. Nah, you got two good. motherfuckers yeah, that yeah, can float yeah, the yeah, bill yeah. now. They like, you get a, you get rid of that car and we share this car. I keep, you, you keep my car. You know what I'm saying? So we came in. I heard at one point, let me know if it's true or not, that both of y'all checks was going to one account. Yeah. Yeah, we were doing I'm saying, why That's not? hard. Well, That's I, hard. I, I, everybody always, like, say, like, y'all y'all need to grow up sharing. I'm like... Why? That doesn't make sense. Huh? Yeah. Two players, two people that's living in the same household, we basically doing the same shit. Same lifestyle. Same shit. Yep. Got we the need same one of everything. Basically. We don't need two of everything. We need one of everything. Mi casa, su casa, for real. Yeah, for real. Yeah. You hear me? And at this time, we <laughs> 22, 23. Like, like, young. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No reason to, like, brand. Like, that don't make sense. That made a lot of sense with y'all. Man, what? That shit was cold, I'll tell you that. So, you get traded in 2015. Uh, you guys felt like it was a, 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 a funny style move by the Suns. What was, what was the reason behind that? It was, you know, we, had, we was in the mix of like some legal stuff. So, like, uh, that, we, that we came out on top of and we just basically was kind of like explaining to the owner, like we really didn't have nothing to do with it. And he wanted us to do something that we didn't want to do. Right. So it was like, it was in the... Oh, that was like, bitch-ass Sarver, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was yeah. still Sarver, yep. I ain't even want to go there. Yeah, but that you, came from me. That didn't, that didn't come from them. That came from... Yeah, send your you know you know comments what? to Stephen Jackson, me. but that yeah, came from me. If Matt said yeah. it, I said it too. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he wanted us to do some shit. We didn't, like, we just wasn't doing it, man. Like, I was like, well, if you're going to do that, then 
that's just what it is, but we gonna stand on it, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So and at the end, it's it. also too, when we just agreed to a contract together, so we took less money to stay mm -hmm. together and play there, and we didn't even get to play one year on the contract. Yeah. That was the year before the contract kicked in. Mm. Basically, at the time, like, we both, were, I was, I, for sure I was worth a lot more than what I, what I took, but I wanted mm -hmm. to stay and play with my brother, so that was just kind of weird, like, you gonna make me, you gonna do that? Sign the contract and then and then get him out. Kick him out now. I got to play here another four years on this bullshit contract. Like they ain't, mm -hmm. we ain't doing that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Robert Sarver, that's why he ain't coaching the art mm -hmm. in, no in the league no more. Memorable stops for Marcus 2018 Celtics. You take on LeBron seven games in that series. What was that? You any good memories from that series? Hey man, just like the fact that I was like playing against Brian. It's crazy, like you know, we you laid some way hard younger. fouls in that series. Yeah, yeah, I was cooking it too. My <laughs> offense, yeah, was your on, offense was, was rolling. I was gonna say like, your offense was rolling too. Be like, yeah, you ain't defending like shit. Like, you better watch the tape. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was going both ways, but it's Brian, and I respect it. And I just like to share that court. And I even told him like, hey, like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be right here every time. But it, it's an honor, you know what I'm saying? Like my kids gonna be able to go back and see this mm -hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, arguably the best player to ever touch the ball. So I was like, man, shit, every game I'm I was, here. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? That's why I, basically I felt like I made my money. Mm -hmm. right. Being able to take him to game seven and shit. We almost won that game too yep. with a Jason Tatum as a, on their rookie mm -hmm. year, Jalen Brown two years in. Like, That's, uh, was yeah. that the the Eastern Finals where uh, Tatum dunked on Brown yeah. and bumped yeah. with his chest? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. That's crazy. You think, you think I was so? in that video too a little bit. I was, I was screaming that nigga's face. I was <laughs> yeah. Like, man, hell yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, I was trying to, you know what I mean? But it was a great team, man. That was probably the most stacked team I yeah, ever was loaded. played on. Yeah, we had Kyrie. Mm -hmm. what, without Kyrie, bro. Yeah, that was without him, yeah. And Kyrie was there, but he was hurt, right? He was hurt. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, Hayward had got hurt. Mm -hmm. So we was just... Y'all was just rolling with the young yeah, boys and y'all, right? Yeah. yeah, it was up. Yeah. For sure. You think uh, they're going to win the championship with Tatum and Brown? Yeah, I like I think it happens, yeah. I, I think like a couple more pieces, like a couple more pieces away. But I mean, I'm a fan of Tatum. Like, you, I'm a fan you, of what, Brown. You too. cool with them, um, them losing Smart, Smart, Smart? No, I didn't like that. Bro, no, can like Brogdon that. feel that role? Who? <laughs> I, 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 I ain't hear you say it. <laughs> Brogdon. Nah, hell no. <laughs> Brogdon a good player, and I don't take away his yeah. game. But like Smart, Smart was the heart and soul of that team. Everybody Smart, is defensive like, player yeah, of the year. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah, on, man. man. He he is Boston. Like he is. You know what I mean? He bled. He bled out there. Like he was doing everything. And then the next heart and soul, they got rid of Grant Williams. He yeah, was another. Like he was a. They wasn't another, really playing coming. Grant though. They were. They, they, but he was important. To, I felt like he was important. Not necessarily the big name, but he would, did a lot of shit mm -hmm. that, that didn't show up on the stat sheet yeah. for that team. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I think he's a great pickup for Dallas because he's just yeah. one of them dudes, a glue guy that you need. Mm -hmm. Keith, you shot 40% in the bubble championship with the Lakers. Talk about that experience. What was it like getting your ring? I know your brother was going crazy, but oh yeah, shit, that was unbelievable, man. I'm still, I'm still a little tight. We ain't get to, we ain't get to do the uh, carnival. I mean, uh, the parade, parade in LA. Shit. Yeah, I'm sick about that because <laughs> you wanted your parade moment. Man, come yeah. on, man. In LA at the time, man. You know the year when Kobe passed, man. You know mm -hmm. all that shit was a setup, but you know you can't take away from that. It was a. It was a great experience, man. Um, before we went in the bubble, we knew we was going to win. We were so locked in. It was, mm -hmm. this, this shit happened with Kobe. It was just like, you know, we got to get it done for him. We was one of the teams that was pushing more for the bubble because we knew we had the best chance of winning. Mm -hmm. And we knew no matter what, who stepped on the court with us, we was going to win. That's the most locked in I've ever been on basketball. Mm. I got to say that by far. Do you, like, you think because it started the at the top with Braun and them? That yeah, it for sure. down through for the sure. team? For sure, well, you know. Uh, uh, that LeBron effect is a real thing, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like he's gonna up your play, or you're not gonna play with him. It's one, one, the other, one or the other. And mm -hmm. I think for me, I'm a, I'm a high IQ basketball player, so it was easy for me to to mix with him, and that's why I shot forty percent. That's what it was. The game was easy. Yeah, fit make in. the game so easy. I try to tell people that you know there could be great teams and, and, and teams win championships, but there's nothing like playing for the Lakers. You got a like championship it. playing for the Lakers. Explain mm -hmm. to people who may not know, like, what is that energy like? And everywhere you go, like, oh, you won a championship, but it's, and, and like you said, the, the unfortunate uh, passing of Kobe, like, it just yeah. seemed like everything after that had lined up for you guys for to, to win it. it. Yeah. And then you are, and you end up champions. What was it like being a champion as a Laker? It was unbelievable, man. Uh, first couple of weeks, I couldn't, I just still couldn't believe it. Like, uh, like leaving out of the bubble in the locker room, I was the last person in there with the trophy, and I was just like, a championship? Like, you know what I'm saying? Not only just making it to the league, but getting there and actually, like, winning, spending the time with my brother. My nephew was born, like, uh, 
two days after that or two days before that, one of, one of those things. So it was just like, it was just so surreal, man. And, you know, obviously playing with Brian and AD and being a part of the Lakers, man, but I'm still sick about that parade. <laughs> you want to I'm touch that parade? Still sick about that parade. The party, especially the after parties watching, was crazy. Yeah, though. the parties was crazy in Vegas. But that parade, especially after watching the teams after us mm-hmm. win, like Denver just had, it. that's how yeah. crazy that was. Like, yeah. Being in L.A. having a parade. In L.A., like, they turn on. it out in L.A. They shut the whole come city on, down man. for L.A. We deserve that. We, yeah. They still need to give us one. Tell them run it back. For real. real. Uh, thoughts on Bron's greatness and just longevity. Obviously, you get a chance to play against him. You play with him. The fact that he's going into year 20, I think he'll be 39 at the end of this year, and he's still playing at such a high level. What are your thoughts on that? This is unbelievable. But, you know, being, for me, watching him and his work ethic and what he do for his body and, you know, what he do on the court, what he do to, to stay in shape is, is uh, top to none. I've never seen nobody work as hard as him. You know what I mean? Three, four hours before the game, mm. two, three hours after the game while we going and cold up and he putting in work in the weight room. He getting treatment till two in the morning, you know, all those things and still being him. So, you know what I mean? Still being LeBron and, and still doing that shit is, is unbelievable. Like I've been around the great players. I've played on, I would say nine of the top 10 players, teams, you know, but on the court, off the court, around the game, nobody works as hard. Mm-hmm. So I can see how he can play, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That long. You had an incident with Jokic. Um, what did you do? You hit him on the screen, or you uh, fouled him? You fouled him. You took you took a foul on him, and then another said you're running back down court. He takes a cheap shot, sucker shot. That's what we call him. Oh, he, took, he took a sucker shot at you, but really messed you up. Tell everybody what you went through, because I didn't even know until I was reading like the depths of the shit you had to go through. You said tell us. <clears throat> so the shot was it was it was a little hard. It was like a little whiplash. Yeah. So I mean, for the B three fifty. Catch me off guard, he really ain't do shit. But, you know, at the time I was a little off. Um, it was more so with the Miami Heat. They was just trying to protect me from, you know, I guess me from myself. But I was cleared to play like two weeks after that. They just held me out. So it really wasn't one of those things where I was like injured or in pain or mm-hmm. anything like that. Took a sucker shot. It's like when you get, when you get, uh, they call it snuck. In the club. Catch you yeah, yeah, in the snuck club. me, yeah. It was yeah. a sucker shot. I mean, you gonna get his though. Yeah, mm-hmm. no trip. Yeah, yeah. Now, as a brother, like I said, no I have twins, and I know how since they were little. I yeah. one the, we put the twins in soccer in their first game. One kid knocked one twin down, and the other twin ran across the field at three years old and like just took the other kid out. Yeah. And I was like, oh no, good job. Right, like, yeah, how did yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. as a twin brother seeing someone take that that sucker shot on your brother? Uh, I mean, I was upset. Obviously, you know. Uh, it was just more so like, cause he had his back turned, but then I told him like, you should never turn your back to him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I took it, it as like, like, a, like, like a take file. Like take if you file, watch it, yeah. I put my hand up so he knew I was yeah, coming. Yeah, you wasn't trying to do it. Yeah, it wasn't dirty was at all. Coming. It's what he did. He tried to jump past the ball as I'm coming to foul you. Like, I don't, I don't know what he was thinking, but yeah, he, was, he made it seem like I was trying to hurt him when it, when it wasn't. But the league made it seem like I was trying to hurt him too. They fucking fined me. Was going to yeah, throw me out the game. That was like, weak. That was weak. Dude, you finding me for it? I'm the one that got hit. Like, that was I, don't, weak. I don't understand it, but you know, you know how they do. You know we, how they. We, I was about to say, you man. know how they do. Yeah, I get fined 25k for some bullshit. But you hear, you hear people talk about it like, yeah, he shouldn't have turned his back. Yeah, like, like is we on the street or we on the basketball court. That's my whole thing. Like, we in the street. Yeah, I'm not turning my back. I'm going to keep going on you. Mm-hmm. But we on the basketball court. There's a foul. I'm walking down to the other end. Like, you know what I'm saying? So how is it not a cheap shot? Mm-hmm. I fouled you and let you know I was going to foul you. And then you hit me from behind, but it's like you shouldn't have turned your back. Okay. <laughs> our, yeah, find, our finds be more of what they know we, what they think we possibly they can do. Yeah, yeah. Like, ooh, I'm glad we, because this one could happen. Yeah. Let's find him now, because hey, hey, you know that could have got bad. Part, yeah. You know, the crazy you know what's going like, to happen. When we played them, the, they was like on me, like they the knew I was going to do something again to him. Like they was on me. Any like little step I took, they was like <laughs> watching me. I'm watching just watching. Me. I'm like, damn, they is on me. So I said, fuck it, I can't get him. I'm gonna get one of your teammates. Then mm-hmm. we're gonna have to take it like that. Who'd I, you get? Austin Rivers. 
I just had to take him out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck it. I I'm like, I'm looking like up. I'm either. trying to get him. I'm like, fuck it. I'm gonna take I don't him like out. Like him fuck either, it, dog. man. I don't they like had, him. They they had, I had to do something. He's like, he nice. We're gonna make some <laughs> shit, man. You would have got him too. I mean, remember when we had his like daddy that. on? His daddy like, yeah, I know you don't like. Yeah, I don't like your son. You feel me? I do not, bro. He just, he just talk like he mad nice, and you not. Yeah, I had to make some shake, so I was like, shit, I'm gonna take him out. Somebody gonna get. Somebody gonna feel this. Somebody gonna get it. They already knew what time it was. All right, man. We appreciate you guys time stopping through before we get you guys out of here we got quick hitters so first sure. thing to come to mind you guys can ap- ap- answer together or separate one album on repeat for each of you guys but no skips black album dreams and nightmares dreams and nightmares in the black album Rimp, hey go ahead and uh, rank boys kobe jordan Bron. Mm. rank them brian kobe no i said brian mj kobe same mj same. Kobe, so MJ, kobe yeah. Bron. yeah Ron MJ Cole. Best teammates you guys had outside of each other? A lot of good teammates. Ish Smith. Ish. Yeah, Ish good Smith. dude, Ish man. Ah, John Wall. He John brought me a Roly. That's the, my dog, though. <laughs> what did he say? Rollie, I didn't hear what you said. He what? He brought that Roly. That's my dog. Yeah. Yeah. I was on that team. When the whole team Rollies. Yeah. 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 That's my uh, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's fire. Uh, Path twins that you wish you could meet don't have to be in sports. Pair of twins. I ain't saying no shit. Oh no. The Olsen twins. Shit. The Olsen twins. That's a good call. Tia and Tamara. Hey, that, hey, that, or Tamir yeah, and Tamara. Tia and Tamara. Tia and Tamara. Yeah. 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 Shit, we grew oh, up yeah. on the Olsen twins for real. Yeah. Full house is for real. The longest you guys have ever gone without talking. Shit, we talk every day. So ain't no yeah, we live right around the corner from each other. So <laughs> shit, I'm even going to his crib. be coming to the crib. Kids love together, each other. Yeah. Kids, best friends. So that's dope. That's that what is, what's the, uh, you guys both? So you have three boys. Three boys. And you have two boys two and a girl and one on the way. Yeah. What is the age range for you guys' kids? Same. They all the same. My my oldest boy is five, two, and uh, nine months. And then what you got? Uh, she'll be sixty-five and then one. Right now, so, <laughs> for real, the same. Yeah, they're the same. <laughs> we right around each other. We catching them. Yeah. Oh, she ready? All right, let's let's get a crack. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> right crack. there. It's your turn, yeah. bro. Go ahead yeah. in your business. <laughs> if you could see some, if y'all could see somebody on our show, who would it be? But but y'all have to help us get y'all answer on the show. On the show, huh? Who haven't I seen on this motherfucker? Do I had Tyson on here already? Mike? Yeah. No, we need Mike. We yeah. need Mike. We was in the same Tyson, studio man. with Mike. Uh, Janina says she's going to make that happen, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Did. Janina, didn't you say that yeah. while we were in Croatia? Uh, my, uh, did they have MJ? Oh, no. uh, yeah. <laughs> she was off the tequila. So Mike Tyson? Uh, and, uh, and Jordan. Yeah. MJ. Mm-hmm. They, I don't know if y'all heard the answer <laughs> the question. Y'all have to help us oh, yeah. <laughs> get y'all answer uh, I'm on take the show. Tyson. I want to see Boots. Boosie. Yeah, oh, yeah. That, Boosie? That'll be a, that'll be a oh, dope yeah, that'll episode. Be a good yeah, one. Boosie, that'll be a dope episode. Shout out to Boosie. That'll be a good Yeah, shout out Boosie for real. Well, man, we appreciate you guys for taking oh, some time fresh off the plane time. to stop by. Shout out Legends. Obviously, okay. we appreciate the investment. Yes, Thank you guys. We wish you guys Thank the best you. of luck. That's a wrap. The Morris sure. Twins, Showtime, Basketball, YouTube. You can catch us on the iHeart platform, Black Effects. We'll see y'all next week. Appreciate it. So. It's about pride. It's about legacy. I want to make history in boxing. That's why I'm here. When you want to win something this big, you got to risk it all. But I'm ready, and I prepare myself for a different kind of fight. My whole career has been about chasing Canelo. Undisputed versus Undisputed. Welcome, class. Do you guys know the theme of the book? The theme is the NFL on CBS streams live on Paramount+. Plus. That's not the theme of the book. Josh. Hi, class. That's Josh Allen. What Tony meant to say was the NFL on CBS streams live on Paramount+. Plus. That's exactly what he just said. What does this have to do with English lit? Because the NFL on CBS streaming live on Paramount+, Plus is lit. Feels good to make a difference, Tony.